Hi guys, welcome back to Ghana Photography. As usual, my name is Don Alabi. Today I'll take you through file management. It's very, very important, but most people overlook it. So you have people who have files scattered on their desktop or elsewhere on their external and other. And let's say a day comes, you ask them, uh, can I have these files? And they're like, they now have to think about where they say they have to go through a whole lot of process to get it. If you learn to manage your file, or if you learn to have a good file management system, you won't have a problem with locating your files and then it will speed up your workflow so you don't have to be doing unnecessary stuff, wasting time looking for files or folders wherever they may be. So let's get straight into today's tutorial. Okay, so let's go ahead and minimize this and then go to Finder. Now, I use a MacBook, but this same thing can be done with uh, any Windows system. So if you look at, let's go back to Capture One. If you look on the left here, this is my file structure from documents to Ghana near photography to 2020 to 31 days and then I have individual folders in there. So let's go to Finder and see if it's the same way Finder sees it. So documents, Ghana near photography, 2020, 31 days, and then you see we have beach and cream. Voila, life is good. So if I'm looking for any file that has to do with the, that shoot we did at the beach, I know it's on the beach. See, they are all here nicely like that. And then creamy is also here nicely like that. So here I have other folders. So because it's uh, 31 days of capture one, I have it and then I have subfolders in there. Somebody will just put everything under just uh, over here. Then they have everything in here. No, you need to arrange your folders so that when you're looking for something, it will be easier. And then when you need to do backup now if i need to back up everything i've done in 2020 so far i just have to copy this 2020 folder and life is good i don't have to now go to desktop pick something go to um downloads pick something go somewhere else and then get something there no i have all my folders neatly arranged well named you need to label them well so that when you're looking for them it will be easier to get them. So let's go back to 31 days of capture one. And if we move to beach, see, everything is here. If we go to creamy, everything is there. So guys, I think you should all start, you know, having a good file management system implemented. That way, you know, you save yourself the stress of looking for files or folders and uh, your workflow is going to be much more faster. The time you spend in looking for folders, you know, if you have a good structure like this, you know, other people have different ways of doing that. And I would like to know how you, yes, you the one watching this, I would like to know how you do your, so just let me know in the comment section, you know, just tell me how you go about yours and I can also learn from, but this is what I've been using for years and it's been good for me. Every year I create a big folder not like the size really matters, but I create a folder, like a bigger umbrella for that particular year. So in this case, we have 2020. Then under this, I have various sections. Let's say maternity, studio, outdoor, or if there's a particular client I shoot for often, I have a, a folder for that client. And then under that folder, I have subfolders to depict the various um, jobs I did for that crowd. Or sometimes if it's a monthly something, I can have a, a folder for each month under the year. So just find the kind of uh, folder structure that works for you. And some use dates, let's say they use the timestamp from the shoots and all that. It's all good. Find the one that works for you and implement it. But all I need is get a folder or file management system in place. It will save you a lot of time. You know, you can use that time to play video games or go walking or something, right? So if you haven't subscribed yet, I have more coming up. So just go ahead, subscribe, and then hit the bell so you don't get to miss any of my tutorials. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for watching.